Oh, hey, 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 guys. It's Tanya Emma. Welcome back to my channel. Um, so, yeah, I have another wig review for you today. Before I get started, I just want to welcome all my new viewers. If you are not subscribed, girl, what are you waiting for? If you're into bomb wig reviews for the low low affordable wig reviews you know go ahead and hit the subscribe button i can't say that word go ahead and hit the subscribe button and then hit the notification bell so you'll be notified anytime i upload new content i do try to upload at least one video a week hopefully in the future i can roll out two a week this depends on my work schedule also for pictures or just uh previews on what i'm going to be reviewing that week Go ahead and slide over to Instagram. My handle will be down in the description box. You can uh, follow me there. Now that we've done all the talking and the introduction, let's get into what wig I'm going to be doing a review on today. So I was searching for this one. And I know she's a new, she's actually kind of fairly new. She came out maybe like a month or two ago. She's by Sensational, it's her vice unit. Uh, Vice Unit 6. That's my son. Don't pay, you know. You're going to hear baby Goo Goo Gaga in the background. Vice Unit 6. This, uh, mind you, I was never really like a fan of the Vice series. Um, the Vice series is really like a really lower cost, cheap um, wig series that Sensational came out with. Just more of affordable an affordable like uh wig style because you know they have their butter lace which is um the more expensive t-part units and then they have their what lace collection which is their frontal uh, wigs and they're on their pricier side i saw this on i think it was sensational's page or wig tights page they always repost the same people so it could have been on either one of them I saw it on their page and the girl who had it, it was so pretty on her. I was like, that's part of the vice unit? Because I always took the vice unit to be like, the, the styles, like, I guess from the reviews I saw, the wigs were not that cute. Like, vice unit one and two, oh my god, it was so ugly. I really was feeling this wig. So, she's the normal crimps, the usual crimp style that's out right now. However, what I really was impressed with is even though it's cheaper, the T-part unit, you smell like baby doll here, the front, the, the way the knots are tied in the front, you don't need to do no plucking. I wonder if you can see it. You don't need to do no plucking. The hair is silky. She's long as hell. But you don't need to do no plucking. Um, it's just really nice. It's really like well laid. I don't have to do anything extra. All I gotta do is lay her down. It's and it's like that all the way to the sides. Most of the time, when you have the T part units, they'll only have it really nicely plucked right here, and it'll get bulky on the side, so you can't really pull it back. It's really annoying. Um, but this one, I was like, wow, this looks really nice on her. So I wanted to try it out. This is my first vice unit. Uh, well, yeah, Vice Unit from the Vice Sensational, Sensational Vice series that I will be trying. Most of the time, I prefer to watch a review before actually purchasing the wig because I purchase these with my own coins. I don't do no sponsorships or anything. So, I'm wasting my money on it. So, when I purchase it with my coins, I expect to for it to look nice. Because most of the time, like, I do too much customizations to it to sell it. When I had started my channel with the wig reviews, I really wasn't customizing that much because I was like, hey, I could sell these again. So I'll just really cut the lace. Sometimes I wouldn't even tint the lace and just throw it on. And and then it just really, you couldn't see the full effect of how the unit could be, like, bomb. I think um, the way, like, customizing the units now is showing people that you could wear synthetic wigs and have it look bomb. So this is normal T-part unit, two combs in the front, one comb in the back, and adjustable straps. She's she's big hair friendly because I have a small head and my ears are like hitting the thing. So definitely, but look at this. Like look at that. That is so nice. And this is gonna be so easy to lay. All I gotta do is tint the lace. All I gotta do is tint the lace and and lay her down. I'm not going to lay her down on camera because <laughs> I'm just not. I like the fact, I think in the video, or not the video, I think the girl 
combed her out combed because it was bigger and fluffy yeah i can see that here let me just do a small section so yeah she definitely finger combed her out and got her big and fluffy it was just so pretty like that and that's what i was looking for because it looks so nice and full like yeah like look at that look at that compared to this like it looks really nice with it like this and watch when i customize it and i lay it down lay the baby hairs down it's gonna look so bomb so bomb Ooh. so yeah yeah i'm gonna go ahead and lay her down i probably won't be able to do that until later tonight because i had the little baby but i'm gonna tint the lace and then i'm going to um is she like thin in the back? It doesn't matter because she's curly. I could fluff her. Okay, guys, I'm back a few days later. <laughs> yes, I applied this wig. I forgot what day it was. Um, I think it was Sunday. Um, I can't remember it. Girl, it is Wednesday night going on Thursday, and I just got to record in the second half. Like, I got lots going on in my life, so sorry about that. But I did get to wear this unit, and I can tell y'all here how it wears. So yeah, um, as you can see, there's some snags. <laughs> anyway, again, this is the Vice Units um, number six by or Unit Six by Sensational. Is my first time trying one of their Vice Units. Anyways, what I really liked about it was how fluffy it was in the picture. I do believe the young lady fluffed her out because I had to fluff mine out to get mine to look like that. Um, and the hairline. The hairline is impeccable um, for the price. Um, I did not pluck this unit at all. It looks really nice. I did tint the lace. But it's really nice all the way around. It's like It looks really natural and um, definitely highly recommend it for that reason. Um, it is really long. I'm 5'2", and it comes down past my bum. Just like their recent unit that I reviewed, Celicia. Really, really long um, for us sh short girls. Um, it is heat safe up to 400 degrees. And I did, you know, add some heat to the parting space. Just to flatten out the top. And to the, um, the frontal portion, just to give it that like frontal look and that laid you know laid and slayed look so it is definitely heat safe um it does tangle she is a long unit however because of the style you really don't need to run your fingers through it um i'm just really picky like that but yeah definitely very nice and flowy it is silky but because of the curl pattern again you don't get that silky look it's not shiny um brushing it out just a warning it does frizz brushing it out as you can see but i think it gives it a more natural look like that um so yes i'm really highly recommend this unit it's very affordable um if it restocks on wig types or sam's beauty like the more affordable size i'm gonna buy another one but because um it was out of stock on those the most popular sites i did purchase mine from hairsofly.com or hairsoflyshop.com and their prices are usually way more expensive than any other site, unfortunately. So I ended up paying like 40 something, almost $50 for, plus that's what's including the shipping and handling. But you know, it's, um, it's whatever. Like I really wanted this unit and I even went to my local beauty supply store. I didn't see it. I didn't really look for it because I had purchased it already, but I was thinking like, you know, it's probably gonna be the same price. Um, so definitely, Right now, just look at your local beauty supply store, girl. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm really loving this unit. And guys, like, I just want to attest to the wig dealer uh, lace mounting spray. I've had this unit on since, like I said, Sunday night, and it's still on my head. I have, well, I will say I did apply some of the Got To Be glue gel to the edge, to like my baby hairs, and a little bit right here because it started to lift a little bit but it's fine like that stuff holds on for dear life definitely don't need to glue your units with the wig glue which is like extra hold if you're going out like on vacation or swimming definitely wear the regular glue but for just regular everyday wear 
the wig dealer hair uh, wigs uh lace mounting spray is definitely all you need yeah so i really don't have not enough, much else to say about this here's all the colors it comes in all i'm gonna say is go out and get you this girl this is what you need okay you need this okay all right <laughs> Anyway, don't forget to like this video if you like my review. Don't forget to um, subscribe to my channel for more view, more reviews just like this. And thanks for watching. Love you guys. Bye.